So what is up everyone? You can see I have my FCX24 sitting here in a state of disrepair. Uh, and you haven't seen it on my channel for a while because, well you can see it's kind of crooked there. And at the end of my last video testing this brass, I went off my crawler course and snapped the frame right there. That's out of focus, but yeah, I can, I can bring us in a little bit closer. There we go. Yep, it, it just snapped it right there at that right behind the shock tower. So now I have to do something about that. So I got this Fury Tech Grasshopper frame kit for the FCX24. It was like sixty dollars or something. It was a little bit on the pricey side, but. I wanted it that day and it just happened to be there. It was at the, the local hobby store, my Hobby Town USA I always go to. And you get your bag of parts. Some magnets. Seem to be pretty strong magnets. And all of your hardware. And they give you a Fury Tech sticker set. So I'm going to open this up and set it out and reposition the camera where we can see it a bit easier. And here is everything inside the box. There's two really nice carbon fiber frame rails. Hold those up to move the original chassis in. We'll hold them up there so you can kind of get an idea. You got a lot more shock mounting positions and a whole lot more link mounting positions. It should prove for uh, a lot more options. And this is the battery tray. Uh, all these parts click in here. I'm going to have to look at the picture on the box to figure out how they all go. And these would be your body mounts and the magnets mount to them. And then you have your center mount for your transmission and motor gearbox. And that is a aluminum. And then we have this other plate here. Which I'll have to double check and see where that goes. Uh... I said I haven't really researched this thing yet. As I build it, I'll take some pictures and try to explain it as best I can. But I'm just going to get started on this and see where it goes. Everything bolted together nice and neat, no problems. Uh, tight fitting, had everything just lined up exactly where it was supposed to be. And all I did was follow the picture on the box as well as I could. And I took some up close pictures in case you're building one, wanted to see where I set my screws. But I think I am going to end up actually switching to this axial body and repainting it, of course because the old power wagon body is cool it's super heavy though and i might end up putting it on my fms 6x6 i'm not sure yet but i'm gonna start pulling the electronics off of this and getting everything moved over and i'm gonna go probably back to the stock shocks i was using these scx 24 shocks which i've already started to remove but and the servo mount should mount right here and hopefully that'll all just line up perfectly and drop back in where it's supposed to. We'll find out. So here we are, at least have uh, all the components installed and the wheels back on it. 
Now these might not be the permanent wheels, but check this out. I think this is going to look pretty good. So I'm going to have to do some generous trimming to get it to all work right. And then I will be doing a custom paint job on that. But I think that is going to look really nice. But I'll probably end up going with some wagon wheels. I don't know yet. This is just uh, the chassis video to make sure everything worked properly. You see we got steering, reverse, forward. And this thing, it really was not bad at all to assemble. Everything went together really smooth. Didn't really have any issues. Everything lines up really nice with that chassis kit. It is a little bit, you know, pricey. Like I said, I think I paid around $60 for it. But it does go together nice. And that, that sometimes is worth a little extra money not to have the extra hassle. But everything seems to line up properly. And I like all the different mounting options you have. And where they have this compared to where it was on the factory frame. With the factory frame, it set up way too high. And it made this bind up. You had to... It was a really pain in the butt to get your uh, servo wire where it wouldn't bind if you wanted to have a longer suspension travel. So that was really nice. And moving the battery to the back, this is just laying here for now because I believe I'm going to go with an SCX24 style battery. I actually believe it's designed for that to fit right in there. But the the shifter linkage, all of that worked just fine. Uh, work that real quick. So it was really not a problem to install any of this stuff. Uh, a little bit of patience because they are small parts. But... Other than that, real smooth assembly. I hope the pictures I provided give you a good enough detail on how to do it yourself if you needed to. And the next step, we'll just you know start doing the custom stuff like painting my body and everything. But I just wanted to do this assembly on the chassis because I know when I'm doing chassis, I said I, I end up just looking at the pictures and doing it. But if you find a video out there, it just makes it a little bit easier. So hopefully this makes somebody's life a little bit easier. But thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to catch you on the next video.